you've ever wanted to know more information about what it takes to put a steel mesh grill on your truck, today's your lucky day. My name is Chris Nelson and this is Headlight Revolution. You can find us online and these products for sale at www.headlightrevolution.com. What I wanted to show you today is the new LED light bar style grills from Royalty Core. Now they make these for all kinds of different vehicles, whether you have a Toyota Tundra like we have here, a Nissan, a Dodge, a Chevy, a Ford, basically any vehicle, Royalty Core makes a replacement grill for your truck. Now the reason that we're showing you a grill replacement is because Royalty Core released this all made in USA by hand, all stainless steel, corrosion resistant, gloss black mesh grill that holds Vision X LED light bars. And to me, that's just really wild. We've never seen a company who makes a grill specifically for Vision X lights. Here at Headlight Revolution, we really appreciate Vision X, which is why I'm excited about this product. Not only did Vision X invent the LED light bar product, they were the first ones to ever come out with anything like this. This 11 inch Vision X light bar, the PX1810, is the brightest 11 inch light bar on the planet. It's brighter than a nine inch, 10 inch, 11 inch, 12 inch, 13, 14 inch. This thing puts out nearly 9,000 lumens of light. That's like double any other 11 or 12 inch light bar on the market. For some reason, nobody else is able to make a light bar brighter than Vision X. So when we heard Royalty Core and Vision X teamed up, we knew we had to get this product on our Tundra. A lot of people don't quite understand how you put a steel replacement grill on your truck. It doesn't even matter what kind of truck you have, most of them actually have to be modified in order to put something like this on. Now our Tundra already has a rolling big power steel mesh grill on it, so I can't show you how to do that install, but we can explain the whole process and give you a better idea before you buy yours. Basically, it is an insert designed for the vehicle but it doesn't just pop in there. You actually have to cut out the plastic center section and then this piece fits in place and bolts up from the back side of the grill. What I wanted to do is go over the review of our Royalty Gore grill here and we're gonna take this one off, pull the RBP grill off and install our new Royalty Core grill with the 11 inch Vision X light bars. Every Royalty Core grill is hand assembled in the USA using CNC machine cut stainless steel. So you can see all of these edges are really nice and everything is painted a gloss black and it's a really great finish. Each of these studs can be different colors or you can take them out and customize them yourself. And these are corrosion resistant stainless steel as well. So really no expense spared. If you want the best quality grill, uh, Royalty Core, you can't really beat them. Now you can see there's two different styles of mesh. You have this big style mesh and then in the corners on each side you have some smaller mesh. So this one incorporates both of those styles of mesh and then Royalty Core even has one more type that you can choose. So that just means that this grill assembly is really customizable. Also this whole section is open and I think that's because we've already got two accent light bars here and here, but you can get all kinds of different uh, logos and badges to put here. Royalty Core makes a lot of grill replacements that don't even incorporate light bars. And we are a Royalty Core dealer here at Headlight Revolution, but on our website, we showcase the ones that are designed to hold light bars. So if you didn't want a Royalty Core grill with light bars, you just wanted the regular kind, or if you wanted a custom badge, logo, or emblem, we can definitely help. We don't just sell the grill replacements that have the light bars built in. Now on the back side, you can see there's a lot going on. We have the two brackets for the light bars on either side and there's one, two, three, four mounting brackets for different points to attach this grill to the factory plastic and metal grill. But the thing that's gonna be kind of interesting to see is look at all of these studs that are coming out. All of these are in place to give you more than a few options on mounting this. All of these different mounting points are gonna allow us to make this grill really sturdy on the truck. A lot of metal mesh grill replacements like this RBP and the Royalty Core that we're going to put on here require customizing, but there are a few from Royalty Core that are direct replacements. If you're curious what style fits your truck, visit our website, find your vehicle listing, 
and see the description to say if it says direct grill replacement or requires modification. On the Tundra here, we actually have to remove the grill from the truck and it's attached to the hood. So we're gonna open the hood, undo all the 10 millimeter bolts and remove the hood latch release. Now, the thing that I recommend doing is before taking the grill off, there's a lot of parts involved. So I would recommend you get a camera and take pictures of everything, different angles and different you know, close-ups so that you can have a reference point when you go to put it back together that you're doing it correctly. This RBP grill is held on in six places with this little right angle bracket, which is nutted to the new steel mesh grill. And then it has Phillips screws that go into the factory grill. And if you see on the back side of this, it's just, a, it's just a speed clip on the opposite side of the plastic lip on the grill. And so it goes up into that to keep it secured. So really all we have to do to get the old one off is take the screws out. Now the reason we're showing you this is just to give you a better idea of how these type of grills mount. If we can show you the process on two of them, That should help you with your project. Also, you can see that the hood latch release is on this bracket here. This is mounted to the inside of the grill. Um, you kind of see how this works. This is where the rod used to be. And this just holds it up and positions it in place so that when you pop the hood, you can get your fingers in there. Once we have all of the mounts released, the steel grill and the plastic original grill should just let go of each other. So here you can actually see what was cut on the Tundra grill. And this is gonna be a real similar type of application, whether it's the Tundra or a Ford or Chevy or Dodge. These vertical bars here were chopped off and trimmed. And then all the way, all these extra pieces that stuck up in the center were trimmed. So, you know, the stock grill used to look like this with the plastic bars going left and right. You can see the picture here. And so you can just kind of imagine what had to be done to cut all of this out. Some people could use some kind of a, a, a small sawzall or an air saw uh, or potentially even a Dremel if you've got the patience for it. And now you can see the front of the grill, what it looks like when we're ready for the new Royalty Core grill to be installed. Now we're back to the Royalty Core grill. You know, on the RBP, there was five or six different spots to put your mounting. The Royalty Core grill has 18 different mounting points. Now, in order to mount, they send two bags of hardware. One is anchors and one is screws and speed clips. So we're gonna use the anchors to go on here and fold over onto the backside of the grill and the screws will hold everything in place. Also with your Royalty Core grill, they send you a cool sticker, which will definitely be going on this truck, and instructions. Fairly detailed, so if there's any guesswork, they've pretty much got you covered. This Royalty Core grill is really unlike any other type of steel mesh grill install that you're gonna see. It's really quite ingenious. They give you the anchors that are shaped a little bit curved, and they simply put some pressure on the outside corner of your grill to keep everything in place. So first you put your anchor down and then you do your lock washers that all come with the kit. And then the nuts to hold everything in place. So we'll go around the whole perimeter, adding these anchors and snugging the new Royalty Core grill up to the original grill. So 
So we got all the perimeter anchors in place and now we're working on the bottom side middle and you can see that there's a couple brackets built onto the grill and this is really good because once we got these in place you can see these aren't grabbing very well here and here so we're going to rely on these extra brackets and the Phillips screws that they send with. They also send speed clips but we're not going to need these. These screws are actually strong enough to go all the way through into this metal subframe of the grill. I really am comfortable with that. I feel like that's gonna really allow us to have a sturdy grill on this truck. You have this bracket, this bracket, and two on the top also. So after all the anchors are done, and after these four brackets are screwed in place, this thing's gonna be rock solid. Now that the grill is mounted securely, and I'm comfortable with the amount of anchoring that we have, we're gonna mount the light bar to the grill. The Vision X light bar has a very unique type of mounting system. It has these insulated steel and rubber foot type mounts that recess into the backside. So we're gonna put those in there like so. And then position the light bar on the grill mounting points. going to take some adjusting to get the Vision X light bar aligned how you want it. So take your time. Mount one at a time, flip it around and see what it looks like. See I think that this is uh, this side sticking out more than this side and that's probably okay. You got this curvature there's really nothing you can do about that. What I'm mostly concerned about is the gap on the four corners. And that looks pretty decent. So let's do the other one and see what that one looks like too. Both light bars mounted on the grill. The first thing I want to suggest is that this thing is extremely heavy. This has got to be the heaviest grill on the market once you get the LED light bars installed. So be aware of that first. I think we're probably going to have to look into some upgraded hood shocks uh, to keep it open because this thing, we just added like 20 pounds to the front of the hood. You can see I was able to get this a little bit more flush on both sides. Uh, it still could use some tweaking, but we'll work on that when it's on the vehicle. Now that we have everything installed, let's put the grill back on the truck the way that it came off. Now that we have the grill installed on the truck, we notice that we do indeed have to get heavier duty uh, struts to hold it up. Right now we have a vice grip holding it up, so you will have to be prepared for that if you care about your hood staying up on its own. The last step is gonna be wiring. Now in this video, we're not gonna show you the wiring. Basically each light bar needs 12 volts connected to a switch. We installed the switch on the dash already. We'll show you that next. And we already ran a relay harness to the battery and then got the wiring to here and we have to connect it to each of the input powers on the light bars. So I've got the Deutsch connector that comes with the Vision X kit and my wiring, and I'm just gonna custom wire this so that it all makes sense. We don't need the dimmer wire, so we'll tape that up and get that out of the way first. 
and then we'll zip tie this harness up and out of the way also. Since I have one power wire coming in for two light bars, I'm going to splice it so we can send another run of power wire to the other side of the vehicle to power the second light bar. The install is all done. We have the grill mounted, we have the wiring installed. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the switch that we put in, how the whole thing works. But first check this out. This thing is heavy. I didn't need any help lifting this before. Now the stock struts, which were working fine 20 minutes ago, no longer hold the hood up. We're definitely gonna have to work on that. 2010 Tundra, we actually made a switch panel in the stock location where the auxiliary switches used to be, and this used to be a cubby. So what we did was we used the GTR lighting LED halo switches. We mounted five of them, and they're all connected to different auxiliary lighting. This is the roof light bar. This is the bumper light bars. Here's the fog lights. That one's the new Royalty Core grill with Vision X lights. And this one is a flasher module to make the whole thing go nuts. If you think that the Royalty Core grill, complete with Vision X LED light bars, is the perfect piece to upgrade your truck, visit us on the website at www.headlightrevolution.com or contact us and we'll help you pick out just the right products for your next lighting project. Now our shop Tundra has Vision X Optimus LED fog lights, Vision X 42 inch Evo Prime bumper light bars, Vision X PX series 18 inch light bars, GTR lighting, low beam and high beam HIDs, and of course the Vision X XPI 27M Iris light bar, totaling over 90,000 lumens of light. If you want to compete on this level, let us help you with your truck project. www.headlightrevolution.com. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see what we do to this Tundra next time, subscribe to our video, and we'll see you later.